Now, um, again, Taylor, if we look at this, do we know if we have parallel lines? Are L and M parallel? No. I didn't write those little arrows to show that they're parallel, and nor did I say they're parallel. So do not assume they're parallel. They look very parallel, but they're not parallel. All right? So, however, we can determine the relationship of these two angles. Depending on their relationship, we can prove parallel lines. So then it comes to this, Kevin. How are these two angles related to each other? What do we call these two angles? Consecutive they're consecutive interior. They're interior of the parallel lines, and they're one right after another. So they're consecutive. Sometimes we call them same side interior as well, consecutive interior. Now, how are, do consecutive interior angles relate to each other, though? They're what? They are supplementary. So remember what supplementary says is the sum, the addition of both angles, is going to equal 180 degrees. And what, the, um, what our converse theorem states is for consecutive angles, if these two angles add up to equal 180, then our lines L and M are parallel. So what I'll do is I'll write 3x plus 10 plus 5x plus 18 equals 180. See how this is a little bit different than the one that had alternate exterior? Alternate exterior, we just set them equal to each other and then we solved. Here, we have to add them. And we have to add them because the angles are, oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to use supplementary. They are supplementary. But I want to write the definition, which is consecutive interior. OK, so write consecutive interior around there. And now let's go and solve. So we can combine like terms. So therefore, I get 8x plus 28 equals 180. Then I can subtract. So I get 8x is going to equal 152. Then I divide by 8. Divide by 8. x equals? 152 divided by 8, 19. Very good. So therefore, what this states, ladies and gentlemen, the whole purpose of doing this problem is when x equals 19, these two angles are supplementary. And when consecutive interior angles are supplementary, you now have parallel lines. Okay, So you can prove you have parallel lines by proving that your consecutive interior angles are add up to 180. Okay?